viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Alika, the number one faith lifestyle woman with and creativity channel. Thanks for those that have subscribed. And if you've not subscribed, please, it's just the button help subscribe, share, and also click on the notification bell. My name is Elika Rabi, and today we'll be speaking about a topic titled Parenting, Bad Parenting Attitude. I know a lot of us have gone through one situation or the other with our parents and we want a change. This topic is not for only those that are married or the person that wants to marry tomorrow. But at one point or the other, you are a child in the hand of your parents. You've gone through a parenting way. The way we go through our parenting might actually be different. Parent A, parenting their child might be different from parents B, parenting their child. But this series we're going to be talking about parenting we're going to look at it from a single single person perspective and also from a married person who has a child already we're going to be talking about some bad parenting attitude which a parent feels that it's the right way of taking care of their child so let's sit back and enjoy and i have the privilege to have one of my very own family lawyer juniors who is the founder of keep up alive for girls who will be speaking to us about bad parenting attitude that people exhibit while trying to be a good parent, a good mother or a good father to their children. Thank you very much. Hi guys. My name is Eunice and today I'll be talking on parenting. Yes. There's nothing to be <laughs> yeah to be scared of because okay parenting I know a lot of people are this they have the fear they are they are scared Maybe they don't want the, the same mistake their parents made. They just want to be that perfect parent. Mm, really, can you be perfect? But then, I just said little I can talk about. So, I can say parenting is a skill. Yeah, it's truly is because we have a situation where people learn. They learn parenting. People who have no idea how to go about things. People who were not brought up in a very good way. And they feel there is a need for them to do better for their children. So most people tend to go out and then to learn, ask questions from people. But there are peop there are some people who are, they have it natural. They have the love, they have the care. They know what to say at time. They know everything about it. But most times, most times, in our, in our bid to be perfect, like our parents, they, they tend to, to do all sorts of things that are not always pleasant the children so i will say that the first thing is that especially for someone who is not even married yet the first thing you should do is that you begin to pray now start praying for your child your children whatever it is you want from them you want of them their character profession the way you want them to behave in the society in their school you start praying now and then after prayer you just you keep on praying and then you get married, you have the baby in the womb, you keep decreeing into the life of that child. When the baby is there, you keep praying for that child. While the child is in the womb, you ensure that you bond with that child because you put your hand on the child, you pray for the child. Good morning. Most times, in I believe most times, parents always give their children names even before they are born, just that people around may, may, may not know those names. So most times we just put her hands on her stomach and then you pray for that child mention the name of that child this is what you will be you will be what god has said you will be say different things you will be the edge you will, you will not be the tail you will not serve your mates you just start praying for those for, for your children and then you tell you decree also that okay this is what i want you to be morally you will not give me problem you will not give me a sick i will not run around because of you you will not fall sick and all that you'll be a hellraiser and that you start bonding with that child up to when the child is born you keep bonding you play i love the mothers i see these days mothers fathers uncles aunties you see pictures on social media when these people go to studio they snap with their little ones you see this smile the smile is always genuine i'm i'm with the smile i see that i'm so sure it's not just for studio picture because those children they are still young and innocent so they know when this person loves them. So the smile is always genuine. They feel relaxed with their with their parents or with their uncles and aunties. Like I do not hesitate to comment. Whenever I see like 
I see mothers with smiling children, babies. I do not hesitate to come in and I tell them to keep it up because yes, that is what we want. That is the type of world we want. So we should try as much as possible to bond with them as they go from to their child age and then to their teen age. You see, it is when you show love to them at their infant age, the child age, that same love will continue to their teenage. If you wait till you get to teenage, those children might have gone so far that you do not know who they are again. They don't care when you want to ask them questions, you want to do this. They feel like, who are you? To just come up and ask questions for me, who are you? But when the love is there, they will feel at all, feel relaxed to always come back to you and talk about whatever it is they want to say. So we should try as much as possible to bond with our children, show them love, show them care. And one thing, trust them. If you trust your children, if they know that you trust them, they won't do anything that sincerely. Imagine a child who has gone to school, university, spent like four or five years, and then is back home, probably waiting for NYC mobilization or trying to get a job, but that child is still with the parent. And then the child goes out, comes back late, starts shouting. The child expects that. You should trust me at least. I've been in school for like five years. You were not with me. So you don't know what I've been doing. So at least I think you should, you should trust me. So that's where this bond, love, comes in. When you love your child, you bond with that child. It will be very easy for that child to tell you, Mommy, this is where I'm going to. Daddy, this is where I am going to. And you will know that your child will go to such place and won't go to somewhere else. You trust that child. When the child is on call, you know, say, mm, bring your phone. Who are you talking to? No, that is why also we should know their friends. Don't push their friends away. <clears throat> their friends come to you to the house. Who are you? What do you want? Who sent you? I, I, I once had that experience. A friend came to, to visit me at home. My dad was like, So, what are you doing here? Who sent you here? Your parents sent you here. So, he felt embarrassed. You see, situations like that, if someone wants to do something bad, you either take, you go outside. And meet that your friend and do whatever bad it is you want to do. But when you know your friend, the, the friends of your children, they come home, you relate to them, you talk with them, maybe Tayo. You talk with Tayo, like, okay, this is what Tayo can do. This is the extent to which Tayo can go. This is who Bola is. This is the extent to which Bola can go. You'll be able to see things and then you sit your child down, okay, this is. Tayo said this, but I do not support him totally in this aspect. So you need to be very careful in this aspect. He's a very good person. He's, he's, and those ones that even know that, okay, they are not working God, they are not working right. You can always talk to them, preach to them, let them be relaxed at their tone. If your children are relaxed at their tone, they will bring their friends in. Their friends are relaxed too that they are tone. It will be very easy for you to know who, he, he, um, who your friends and your children's friends are. So, and also... Prayer does not stop at when we give birth to them. Prayer continues to keep praying and praying and praying and praying. Keep praying. Prayer does not stop. As you are walking, you are praying. A child that is proving very difficult, like, I don't want to change. This is what I want to do. I just want to keep being wayward. Just keep praying. Keep showing that child love. Just keep at it. Because one way or the other, that child will come back. The word will keep ringing. Before I gave my life to Christ, there was something that was always ringing in my head. Messages I heard, things I heard at times. Like, just keep saying it. Say, keep repeating it in love. Keep re repeating it in love. They will come down. They will come down. One day, they will definitely realize that they betrayed the wrong path. So, as parents, just keep praying. Love, trust your children, care for them. Even if you don't have enough to give to them, they know that, okay, my parents, they are trying. They want to do it for it's not available at the moment. And then they'll be calm with you. They'll relax. And I pray God will help us to be very good parents to our children. Our children will love us. And we all will get to heaven together. Thank you. Thank you much, my friend, my sister, for that. One thing I've come to realize is parenting starts from the womb. It also starts from even before you've given birth. Why you're still single. There are times that we've gone through a particular training from our parents that we this upcoming parent, especially now that we have children that has jet age brain, there is need for us to evaluate the past training our parent has given to us and understand that we should not make the same mistake. And if you're a parent here, there's still need for you to make amendments. If you're watching this, 
the first thing you said was that parents should trust their children. Sometimes I go to the university, children are go to boarding house for like two, three months in a section, in a semester, they are not at home, and they come back home and you start over monitoring them. They think so, it also know their friend. If they have a friend who is a boy, know their friend. It's not that you need to trust them. Even if you're going to correct them, if somebody comes, Recept the person, have a reception with the person. When the person leaves, if it's a boy, then you'll be able to talk to your child in love. There is need to have a bond with their children. Sometimes the attitude that parents make, thinking they are protecting us, they are actually pushing us away. So there is need for you to have a good relationship. Having a good relationship is trusting them, trusting them, and also guiding them. And most importantly, we also need to pray about about that thank you very much that's actually from a single person perspective so we're going to be having another episode next weekend uh, from someone who is also a mother who is in the process of parenting to tell us some parenting they felt the experience why they were being parented and what how they've been able to make amendments for their own child or children that they're taking check taking care of thank you very much for staying with us don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that when we post a new video you'll be able to see and please don't forget to subscribe on this youtube channel it means a lot thank you very much for staying with us till we come your way next time i remain your girl Ellie Hala.